on this week's episode of What the Laheka with baseball at the forefront of everyone's mind as the Nationals try to win the World Series. I thought we would dive into a little bit of science behind baseball. So do you think a baseball travels faster in humid air or in dry air? So in order to answer this, we really have to look down to the molecular level of air. So in humid air, we have a lot of H2O molecules, but in drier air, we just have oxygen, which would be an O2 molecule. So in order to answer this question, we have to look at the atomic mass of each of these molecules. So the molecular weight of H2O would be two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So the atomic mass of a hydrogen atom is 1.079. So we multiply that by two and add 16, which is the atomic mass of an oxygen atom, and we get about 18 atomic mass units. The molecular weight of O2 would be 16 times 2, and you get 32 atomic mass units. So, since 32 is larger than 18, that means humid air is less dense, so a baseball would actually travel faster in humid air compared to drier air. So the humidity is actually a good thing for baseball. So if you have any weird weather questions or phenomenon, make sure to send them my way on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll answer them for you on next week's episode of What the Laheka.